Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. In a heartwarming ceremony, D. Lalu, the president of the Meghalaya People United Front, MPUF, inaugurated the newly constructed house of Pinsa Khyat Dhar, a resident of Lum Saleh, Kanrong Tuber, West Jianti Hills. The event was attended by a small gathering of well-wishers and community members in the compound of the new house. This remarkable initiative stemmed from the village heads witnessing the dire living conditions faced by Pinsa Khyat and her family. Their previous dwelling was not conducive for habitation, especially during the monsoon season. Additionally, Pinsakhyat, who tragically lost her husband several years ago, is now single-handedly responsible for the well-being of her five children. A fresh incident of firing between security forces and armed men has been reported from the Palal area of Manipur's Tengnaupal district since Friday morning, officials said. According to the officials, the fresh firing incident started in the valley at around 6am and is still underway. Meanwhile, no reports of injuries or casualties have been reported as of now and officials said. The situation is being monitored by the security forces in the violence hit Manipur. The election officials said on Friday that the BGP's two candidates have won Tripura's Dhanpur and Boksanagar Assembly constituencies, defeating their CPIM rivals with comfortable margins. The BGP wrested the Boksanagar seat from the CPIM and retained the Dhanpur seat. According to the election officials, BJP candidate Tafajal Hussein, with 34,146 votes, won in Boksanagar by a margin of 30,237 votes, defeating his CPIM opponent, Mizan Hussein, who managed to get only 3,909 votes. On the other hand, the BJP's Bindu Debnat with 30,017 votes won the Dhanpur constituency, defeating his CPIM challenger Kaushik Chanda with 11,146 votes by a margin of 18,871 votes. Assam Chief Minister Imanta Biswa Sarma said that he strongly opposes the Bengali majority Barak Valley's separation from Assam. Some sections of people from Barak Valley want the separation of Barak Valley from Assam. The demand for the separation of Barak Valley encompassing districts of Kachar, Karim Ganj and Hailakandi dates back to the 1960s. It was renewed this year following the reduction of the region's assembly seats to 13 from 15 in the 126 member Assam Assembly. 11 people died in police firing during a protest in Barak Valley. Valley's Silchar in 1960 when the Congress-led state government sought to declare Assamese the state's sole official language. Rishi Sunak arrived in Delhi for the G20 summit, a meeting of leaders from the 19 biggest economies in the world plus the European Union. He becomes the first Prime Minister of Indian Heritage to visit the country. Number 10 says the historic visit will be a powerful reminder of the living bridge between the two countries. Mr. Sunak was accompanied by his wife Akshata Murthy, who was born and grew up in India and is the daughter of one of India's richest men. The Prime Minister will meet Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, where it is likely they will talk about a UK-India free trade agreement. India captain Rohit Sharma is on the cusp of a historic milestone as the Indian team gears up to take on Pakistan in their Super 4 clash in the Asia Cup 2023. Rohit would look to bring up the 10,000 run milestone in ODI cricket, becoming the third fastest player in the format to do so. The record is led by Rohit's teammate Virat Kohli, while the likes of Sachin Tendulkar and Saurav Ganguly complete the top three. Rohit can take over Ganguly and take the number three spot if he scores 78 runs against Pakistan on Sunday. Ganguly occupying the number three spot had reached the 10,000 run milestone in 263 innings. Rohit, on the other hand, has only played 239 ODI innings for India so far. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mitela. 